Hey everybody, it's Robin with Creativity RV and I'm out here camping in the desert at a long-term visitor area on the California-Arizona border. It's normally really quiet here, nothing really happens, but the other night we had some major drama and we got the footage. If you're not familiar with LTVAs, they're part of the Bureau of Land Management. So it's public land that's used for recreation. And in this campground, you pay 180 bucks and you can stay for six months. So this land is owned by the government. And sometimes we would hear some big booms, like ammunition booms. And we saw a lot of military planes going over and they were really crazy. They would fly really low, and sometimes they would have lights on the bottom of the wings as if they were signaling. And then sometimes at night, we would see them, and then they would just disappear. Here's another one. Oh, it disappeared. That's weird. No big deal, they never got very close to us. But the other night, there was one that was flying so low, over and over and over, it seemed to be circling our area. And it was late, like 10.30 at night, and it was literally shaking the walls a little bit. So I was up in the bedroom reading a book and Doug went outside to see if he could see what was going on. He comes back in the house and he says, um, I think you're gonna wanna come outside. I think there's something going on out here. And I said, what do you mean? And he said, I think there's a dude. So of course I say, a dude, what do you mean a dude? And I went outside and in the distance about the height of a man, we saw this flashing beacon. Our neighbors were rushing outside and congregating and motion sensor lights were going off and voices were raised and I was like, shut up, shut up. We don't know what this is, Red Dawn. And then we remembered that we actually got a night vision camera. Look, we were out here for a long time. There was a little kit fox that was getting into people's stuff. It pooped on our solar lights. It ate through our mat. And we thought it would be kind of fun to see the animals at night using this camera. We ran inside and got it and tried to figure out how to record on this thing. This is the first image that we got. When we looked at the dude through the night vision, we were even more alarmed. In night vision, it looks like a dude in a big spacesuit was standing right over there. We can see that he's got a beacon on his helmet that goes from white to green to red, and we could hear him and see him pulling up a parachute. And then two nondescript pickup trucks fly in to the campground, just on that ridge over there, and the dude pulls his parachute up the ridge you can see all of them here. They take the dude's pack off, they take his parachute and him, and they put him in this truck, and they hauled ass out of this campground. These are not roads that you go down that fast at night, but they did it. Now this isn't the first time some crazy military stuff has happened in this very spot because during World War II there was a lot of desert military training that was done in this area. Then in May of 1964 there was a massive military training exercise that happened right here where we're camping called Desert Strike. There's a plaque in the entryway to our LTVA that talks about it, but I did some more research online. There were a hundred thousand troops right here. In 64, 900 planes, 500 tanks, but sadly 32 soldiers died during those military exercises. Research that I did showed that those exercises actually helped lead to the end of the Cold War and 
changed our tactics on the nuclear battlefield. Well, we read that plaque when we first came in and we knew that was the history of this area, but that was 60 years ago. So we didn't know what was going on that night in our campground. We had seen some people parachuting a few miles away, but never right here. And come to find out, a bunch of military training is still done right between here and Palm Springs along I-10 which is why military aircraft is always dotting the sky. They've got live fire training, and they're one of the best places in the world for tactical parachuting training. The locals told us that there are soldiers from all over the world that come here from our allied countries to train in desert parachuting. And all I could think about the poor dude that landed over here was that he was probably a visiting soldier from like Sweden or something who accidentally landed in this campground, maybe because of all the wind. And here he sees a bunch of RVers, motion sensor lights going off and people screaming. I found an article from a local paper that actually said, hey everybody, new training is happening in this area. So if you see paratroopers dropping down on the north side of the freeway, it's all good but I don't think they were supposed to be dropping right here in our campground. I've been on the road full-time for four years. I've never seen anything remotely like this happen. Clearly it was a mistake, but at least we were able to see it and then explain to our neighbors what all the noise and the speeding cars were about. I know a lot of us camp on public land in these types of areas. Does anybody else out there have a story like this? I'm dying to know. If you do, please put it in the comments below. I hope you're all doing well out there and staying healthy, and I'll see you next Sunday. Until then, have happy travels and be free.